What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Squad Builder Showdown. Today, we are doing it on Trailblazers Jude Bellingham. One million coins this man costs, almost. The golden boy of Real Madrid having the most unbelievable start to this season and is basically the next big thing. The only thing better than Jude Bellingham is Jude Bellingham's PR team. We are joined today by Capcom Thomas. How are we, Capcom Thomas? I'm good, mate. Excited to be back for Squad Builder Showdown. First of the year. First of many, hopefully. And um, yeah, this is a big one. This does account for about, say, about 70% of my entire club's <laughs> worth. So lose them at the end and I'll probably be restarting. You will know my pain so far this year <laughs> in Squad Builder Showdown if that happens. I've seen a thing. The reason I'm saying Drew Bellingham's PR team, I've seen an article that was basically saying, thank God for Jude Bellingham because Messi and Ronaldo have now gone to Saudi in the MLS. Thank God Jude Bellingham's there to step up and be the next successor to the throne. And I was just reading it thinking like, does Haaland exist? Like, Jude Bellingham is very, very good. And Haaland, Mbappe, Bellingham, I think are the three best players in the world of like the next generation. I think that's fair to say. Haaland obviously doesn't have a card. Mbappe does, Bellingham does, Trailblazers Team 2 Erling Haaland, Tom. Seven billion coins. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's, it's interesting. Every time there is a release of a new team, it's like one headline player that's worth like eight million and completely unobtainable to 99.99999% of the player base. And then there's like everyone else is like in the middle 50K. bracket. <laughs> yeah, 50k and below. When this squad came out, I tweeted out a little bit of disdain. I'll say, because if you compare this promo to Rule Breakers Team 1 from last year, so obviously the first thing that always happens on every Ultimate Team is Road to the Knockouts for the Champions League. Mm. And you do struggle to pick crap players from the Champions League because they're in the Champions League, you know? Now like no. you can obviously, you don't have to pick Haaland. They could have picked John Stones if they wanted to, you know, and that would be more affordable. But I, I, I at least understand it with the Champions League ones. This is a made-up promo where they just pick whatever players they want. Why do we need an Mbappe when the normal card is three mil? I don't get it. Why do you need a Hansen when the normal cards are mil? Just pick some normal players. We had Ben Godfrey in Rule Breakers last year. EA have gone mental. If I go to the store now, sorry, I'm going off on a scrubble of shit on rant. If I go okay. over to the store, Tom, on the on the weekend, there was 100k packs in the store. There is currently one 10k pack, whatever, 12 25s, 8 45s, 2 50ks, and 85, 125, 175, and 175k pack in the store. It is week three of the game. They've gone <laughs> mental. I mean, they do have, they have gone pretty mental. I think there's a big, there's a lot of things going at play here, Andy. I mean, you are ignoring the fact that there are, what, about 15 stinkers in this team one that you could pack and would be rubbish. And just, just because yeah. then, I think it's mainly because they're not from Everton that you have a real uh, issue with this. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, oh, like, you don't need Mbappe. Even just pick Diani or something like that, you know? Just yeah. pick, like, I think Griezmann. Griezmann is a perfectly good card to be the best cards of this promo. Yeah, true. But I guess then he's not even... The thing is, he's still not even... He wouldn't be as good as Mbappe. Like, he wouldn't be as good as Gold Mbappe. So people are still not going to pick that Griezmann over there Mbappe. So they're, I think they... Because obviously there's a competitive scene. So the competitive scene wants at least one, like, true premium card they could put into their squad each week so that they've got even more of an advantage when they go into foot champs and just ruin the masses. Do you want to know my theory? They're trying to have an incredibly successful Q4 because this is the first time ever they've not been called FIFA and they want to make as much money as possible. Ah, uh, yeah, I think yeah, I was going to I was going to bring it back around to the money, but you would have thought having not had to pay the ludicrous amount of money that they were paying to FIFA in the first place for the naming rights, the money that they've just saved, that's not going to be coming off their balance sheet, is it? I reckon when they signed the FIFA deal, it wasn't ludicrous money. Then maybe it's like a 10, 20 year deal. And yeah. in that time, they've gone from selling a football game where everyone plays career mode yeah. to making over a billion a year off of Ultimate mm. Team. And FIFA have said, well, you've paid 10 years and you've given us 50 million for our name and rights. You're making, in them 10 years, you've made 10 billion. We want 100 mil a year. And obviously the EA have said no. So uh, maybe the, maybe it wasn't very expensive to have the FIFA name from like 92 to 23. Yeah. But would it be that long a deal? I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm just making stuff up, obviously, but I reckon that's what it is. Because yeah. then, did you see, there's been news articles about FC24 sales are down 30%. Did you see that? I didn't see that, but I can imagine that is probably the case. But we're not even... We're only a month into the game. Like. But, uh, yeah, well, there is that. It's, it's based on the release last year. Oh, uh, right. Okay, the box office sales. Yeah, last week, basically. I am unconvinced because everyone was tweeting it out and laughing at EA, and nobody actually read the article properly. It's only physical copies. Oh, right. Okay, there you go, then. No one buys a physical copy anymore. A greater than 50% amount, I reckon, of PS5s don't have a disc tray. Yeah, I would imagine so. So it's, the sales probably haven't gone down at all. No, they're probably exactly the same. To be honest, I feel like EA probably... They might have even had like a thing where they had to give FIFA like a percentage of in-game revenue as well. So now they don't even have to do that. They're like, you know what, we'll sell as many packs as possible. We're just going to have a great Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so I reckon that's probably what it is. It's probably a conscious effort to prove that they can be successful. And by their definition of successful is obviously selling crap loads of FIFA points yeah. without the FIFA name. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Whether that has a positive impact on the game, I will leave up to debate. I guess it depends which part of the player base you fall into, whether you're a uh, spends money on the game, grinds the game hard, doesn't really care. Uh, doesn't really care, probably doesn't really care still, and the grinders hate it and those money spenders love it because there's loads of packs to open. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I've opened quite a few packs this year. Not as many as I have in previous years, but I have opened still a lot. And my best pull up to date Literally, I packed it this morning, and before that, it was Theo Hernandez, it's Marcus Rashford, and like everything else is worth nothing. That's the problem. There is nothing like in previous years, we've had like you know, like 83 rated players that are worth like 20 30k or something because people put them in their starter squads. No, everyone's just jumped that stage and straight into the meta players right at the start. That is wild, but I'm gonna stop you there and I'm gonna plug my road to glory. Oh, god, man, my road to glory rewards from last week come out on Sunday. Oh, my god. You got some good ones. One pack, I've probably quadrupled your total pack value for the whole year. Go and check out the Road to Glory on AJ Free Plays. Go and check out another Squabble of Showdown on Tom's channel. And let's jump into this one, Tom, because we've done a lot of chitty chat and we love a chit chat in Squabble of Showdown. What formation would you like to play this Bellingham in? We haven't even really looked at his cards. He's got Technical Dribble Playstyle Plus, which yeah. is broken, by the way. Yeah, they seem to have given everyone this. If they were going to upgrade someone, that they gave them this. This is the one. There's quite a few. I think they've given this to. So. Ruben Dish has changed, I think, to anticipate from. Oh no, he has anticipate anyway. Okay, that's a lie from me. So if none of them changed, they all still have their. Well, some of them have switched because they can only have one of the gold versions, the the, the playstyle pluses. So if yeah. they had a playstyle plus already, it's been switched. Some so, of like... them have. Oh no, Salad. I thought Salad finished shot. He did. Oh, Salah does that finish shot. Yeah, yeah, but sorry. this card has changed. Yeah, yeah. So this card has changed. Yeah, I'm with you. And then Ruben Diaz was, is anticipate now, but was Bruiser. Yeah, I was right. Okay, when you hover over the cards, it doesn't change properly on Foppin. That's my bad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they have switched them up. This one that Bellingham's now got, because I think, hasn't he got Engine normally? Or the Stamina one? Iron Lungs, whatever the bloody hell that's called. I can't remember what it's called. The one where he never runs out of. Relentless. Relentless, yes. He had that, and now he's got the gold playstyle plus of technical which is yeah broken and every single one of them ish uh, okay I'm, I'm lying uh, what's annoyed me they haven't all got one <laughs> that's in annoying the, dude. in the start and 11 callum wilson i think is the only one without one yeah because he's the uh, objective the objective yeah i don't want to they don't want to give that away for free mate they don't give pluses away for free um i think what they've done with this bellingham card is they've turned him more from a box to box to a center attacking mid but not given him the position but of yeah cam. but you can't play him there <laughs> yeah <laughs> Classic EA <laughs> logic. Yeah. Um, formation, mate. I would like a 4-3-3 three, three, fifth, please. Ooh, that's jazzy. You can have that. Good. Good start. I would like 4-3-1-2. Mm, okay. I didn't really know what you've been playing this year. I know you struggled at the start, but now I seem to think you're the Thanks, god mate. of it, the FIFA god. <laughs> I've struggled, and now I seem to have found my footing on the game as well, much to Jack's dismay. Um, so, yeah, you can have that. I put 4-3-3 three, 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 the fourth down. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm a FIFA god, but I've got better. I, in the first foot champs, had a negative record. Okay, well that's good. In this week's foot champs, it was ten and five, I think, until I went on a little bit of a meltdown trying to win my eleventh game. Got a couple of absolute robberies, but ten to five compared to nine to eleven, <laughs> worlds apart. Like I got to more wins than I had the first week, and I only lost five games. That is impressive. Yeah, that is so. Impressive. 
the glow up is coming, ladies and gentlemen. No longer will I have a 10% win rate on Squabble the Showdown. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the first picks. All right, Tom, moving in then. Mm -hmm. First or second, mate, on your first Squabble the Showdown of the year? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, I want to get this. I want to get this thing uh, uh, running. So uh, to celebrate my first Squabble the Showdown, um, and there being the addition of women into Ultimate Team, I'm going to go very women and very American theme to start us off. We're going to go with Swanson at left wing. No, if you say Sophia Smith. No, we're going to go Rodman. I don't know who Smith is. <sighs> I'm mainly building it because I want to have. Please don't Morden. find out. Alex you Morgan. Have a, ooh, okay, interesting. I like, Alex, I like Alex Morgan. She's good. Interesting. But she's the a centre forward. I think she'll be better than the other one. So the Alicia Layman of thirty-year-olds is basically what Alex Morgan is. Yeah, no, unbelievable. What a woman? <laughs> As opposed to fifteen-year-olds, people keep saying to me, "Andy, do, Alicia Layman used to play for Everton. Do her Eva." Like, I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Trinity Robbins, insane on this game, by the way. Alex Morgan's finesse shots are unbelievable because she's got the playstyle plus. And who is your other one? Swanson? Yes, indeed. Also, you've just built a pace team, Tom. Is what you've done there, mate? It's just annoying. So you've missed out on Sophia Smith, who plays... It's, it would be instead of Alex Morgan, who's got 93 pace. Is yeah, but she was... Game. Yeah, she was never going in, though. Never. She's, she, she's not taking Alex Morgan's space, is she? No, sorry. On. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize you are married to a Tom. <laughs> She's about my age, so fair enough. Right. I you actually can have had them a more, <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought I'd be able to. It's going to put me at a disadvantage in the later rounds, but um, yeah. I completely... You know what? I panicked. I said I was ready and I hadn't written anyone down on my board, so I've just panicked written three players down on my board for okay. your guesses. I just reeled them off the top of my head for yours. I put Chloe Kelly, which I got very excited when you said we're doing women. Okay. It was your first couple of the showdown and everyone's first couple of the showdown they've picked Chloe Kelly or Lauren Hemp. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Um, I put Rory and Sterling because he can play both sides. I'm Harry Kane, who, coincidentally, I'm going for myself. Inform Harry Kane, please, Tom. Oh, very nice. Yeah, go for it. You can have him. I can't remember if I did this in the last couple of the showdown because I recorded it ages ago. So apologies if I did. We're doing it. I'm going Musiala at Cam. Yeah, very good. Insane also has the playstyle plus of technical dribble. And I have one in my club, so maybe I did. So I can only apologize. And then, spoilers for the road to glory incoming. Okay, now we've got that out the way. I packed and immediately sold one of the players. There was two huge players I packed on my road to glory in one pack. And one of them was Smodorek. Now, I didn't try him on my road to glory because I wanted the coins. I'm going to try him now instead. Yeah, no, I, I panic, panic, wrote down a completely wrong bunch of players, I won't lie. <laughs> I did put an English player down, but I put down Lineker. Um, I put down Madison, and then I put down Lewandowski, in case you went down the uh, La Liga route. So you can have all three. You're all good. Um, but lots of information gained for the next round, and I'll actually screw my head on and uh, have a think about what you might put in your team rather than just writing down random players. The first one is always a punt, and all of them players do link to Bellingham. However, you are mental for writing Gary Lineker. Why? Good player. Isn't he like 50k and he's an icon? Yeah. Mate, Gary Lineker wouldn't use Gary Lineker in this game, and Gary <laughs> Lineker loves himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're crackers. But who would he use? Who would who would if who, who would Gary Lineker use? Would he use Shearer or would he use Ian right up front? Nah, Kyle Walker. He's <laughs> Kyle Walker up front. Brilliant. Loves a crisp. Let's move on. Into the midfields we go then, Tom. Mmm. I mean, you've got yourself into a bit of a pickle because Bellingham has no chemistry, but plenty of ways to fix it. And with icons this year as well. I assume you are aware of that. You've filmed other scrub videos, not. This is just your first call, should I? They can they give a link to every league, don't they? So, yes, they are very powerful. There's solutions there for you, mates. They are very OP. I do not have an icon, unfortunately, because I've got smaller egg. What I'm going to do is a bit of an Argentinian theme. Hmm. Huh? hmm. Oh, randomly, because I love a tangent. Me and Katie aren't married, but we are getting divorced because I got out of the shower last night, went into our bedroom. This is going to be something so small. I can already feel it. It's going to be to so small. To find her. <laughs> Watching the David Beckham documentary without me. Oh, no. Not box out adultery. It's disgraceful, Aaron. It? That is disgraceful. You, you, you're speaking like David Beckham. You're talking icons of David Beckham a lot. I, I mean, I can't have them. But one thing I didn't know is you know when Beckham got sent off in the World Cup and everyone hated him for a bit? Mm. It was Diego Simeone who he kicked. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that just reminds me because I'm picking Argentinian players. That was kind of mental. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, it is one of those things that's easily forgotten, isn't it? All you remember is Beckham kicking someone, kicking some random Argentinian back in the day. No, nope, turned out to be Simeone. I mean, some of us were only like nine at the time. I mean, mm. I mean, you, you were probably in uni. <laughs> but watch it, anyway. watch it, this new union, mate. <laughs> I'll have Sean De Paul. Yeah. Okay. And Inform Palacios. Okay. You had me worried. You had me worried for a second there when you said Inform because you'd already put a player down from the same club that I've written the Inform for, and you've not gone for him. You've got Inform Coke. Uh, is it not Inform Soul? You've got Inform Soul. That's yeah, it. that's. It. I, I don't even know. They're all the Basically same. Basically, the same fella, aren't they? Yeah, Spanish guys who play for Atletico Madrid. Did I tell you? I need you to get a hole in one, Tom. Why? On absolute bandits, so I can, so we can change the perfect link clip to you screaming your head off in oh, 2023. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of in 2013. I've been so close so many times recently. It's actually getting a little bit scary, but not not happened. Which probably means it probably never will. If you get close, that means you've used up your one time. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. The only one is just, it's not just luck, but it's a lot of luck. A lot of luck. Well, you, the thing is, like, I'm, have you watched Calix's uh, staying on a golf course until I make a hole in one? I haven't watched it, but I've heard about it. Yeah, it's, so the thing is, what happens is, is if you have someone that brings the ball in much lower, so someone who can't hit it as far, let's say on a par three. Yeah, you've got it, yeah, a better run off chance. of potential yeah. line for the ball to go in, as opposed exactly. to... Exactly floating in a pitching wedge or a 9-9 nine -nine and yeah. it stops dead or spins back a little bit like yeah exactly so if you're and that's i think that's i think towards the end i would be the same after hitting about three or four thousand balls or whatever it was yeah you, you end up three quarters swinging a seven yeah, nine three, yeah exactly so give yourself a better chance i would i would even say that it might be easier just to putt it um <laughs> and that's actually get him a chipper <laughs> yeah exactly um, but yeah no it, it's not an easy thing it is it is just like base and you do see a lot of people who end up on their first round getting a hole in one which is just bizarre isn't it because they've a lot you know, i just, think a lot of people is a stretch but there is definitely some people that it's happened to there is some people there is some people we're hitting driver 150 yards and getting hole in one the one isn't it it's that nine data one four seven break or a hole in one anyone who thinks a hole in one's the hardest is mental mental yes yeah, uh it's the nine data isn't it Ooh, me, I don't know. I don't know enough about snooker and darts. I haven't played them myself to know. Yeah, There's definitely yeah. not a hole in one. I know someone that I know who plays darts, not com like super competitively, but is in like a darts league and he's made like a 180 like 10 times or something. Yeah, so to get two of them in a row, then two treble up 20s and a treble 19 and then whatever it is, treble 20, treble 19, double 12 or something like that. It's crazy. Let us know in the comments. What's more difficult? Yeah, which is harder, one four seven or a nine data? Yeah, exactly. Um, Your write... question. Oh, go on. Sorry, I was going to say. I write down Goretzka and Saul for you. Okay, so, nice. Your question good. on bandits when you do your little Q and A with the guests is hole in one or shoot level par. I think anyone sh picking hole in one is mental. Really? Mental. Nah, they're a content creator most of the time. <laughs> Would you rather be so to shoot level par? Like th that is insane at golf. That is insane at golf, but through hard work, you can achieve it. Whereas a hole in one, you might not achieve it. Like there are there are professional golfers out there who've never made a hole in one, and they're unbelievable, and they broke par loads of times. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you're, I'm, if you were asking me, you're saying I could say, I would back myself to get good enough at golf in the next five years to be able to shoot level par. Yes. But exactly will that. I ever get a hole in one? Maybe not. So yeah. take the hole in one now and then just get level par myself anyway. So when we asked that question to Matt Fitzpatrick, we actually adapted the question because obviously he shot par loads of times. It was we changed it to break course record or shoot or make a hole in one. Okay. And if you want to find out what the answer to that is, you're gonna have to go look at it on the TikTok because I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Well that one's gotta be course record, surely. That one's got to, that's really prestigious. That is, I mean, that's like legendary. You go down in club legend, don't you? Yeah. Until until it gets broken. So that is, you get your name on the wall. Yeah, interesting. Someone in my Twitch chat is saying a 147 even for a pro is incredibly difficult. So is a nine daughter though. There's only been like 10 televised nine daughters ever. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, Tom, tell me some players, mate, before we go off on tangents about all sorts of sports. One more though, one more stat. If we did, if we went Condor, so hole in one on a par five, I think there's been like in the, all of golf, there's been like three recorded ever. But even that, that is, I guess that's some of it is being able to hit your driver 400 yards. Some of yes. it is also getting a lucky bounce off a car path. 
yeah all of that's just i mean yeah again yeah. very lucky but Amazing. again that probably means it's more even more rare than the nine data right quickly before you tell me your players tom i have to do a stat check to not look mental 40 players i'm on following table perfect legs recorded multiple nine daughters in a television match 40 people have done it ever 11 wow. times for phil taylor nine for van gerwen so like there's been 85 ever but quite a lot of them were by the same people mm -hmm. it is, it's hard it's very hard but tell me your players tom because right. i could go on about random sports forever i love watching the darts at yeah. christmas well, you, you went out on a big old tangent for a while there, but before you went on that tangent, you were talking about another tangent, which was David Beckham, and he was actually who I was thinking about putting in my team at the right set of mid spot. But now I have a feeling that you might have written him down because I feel like you're trying to bait me into it, so I'm going to have to change my mind and go for Paul Scholes. Um, Paul Toes, eh? And then I'm going to go for a bit of... Not particularly fast, loads of pace, high rating. We're going to go for Parejo. Okay. Still need Americans, Tom. Yeah, yeah, we need some Americans. We'll get them in there eventually, don't worry. I wrote Henry, Henri. I don't know if she says her name, Henri. She's French from the NWSL. So I thought her and Chua Many would work, and then you could get an icon across the defense to get your final NWSL. You need, you've used your icon, and you still need an NWSL player. You've got one chem on Parejo. As well, you know, we st there's still five more spots, mate. Don't worry, I'm not worried. I'm just saying, Tom, just saying, you know, just, just being a bit observant, just trying to mm. make you a bit nervous. You were nervous about Beckham. There's not a chance I was writing Beckham, but I like how free you're off that and made you pick an infinitely worse player. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, that's actually quite rude to Paul Scholes because he's actually really good on this game. So, is he? You know, take that back. Yeah, no, take that back. Is it alone, Tom? It, it might be alone, yeah. yeah I mean, Beckham was, Beckham was alone as well. So, didn't Good. you not hear? I just said that I've got about 70% of my net worth investing in Bellingham. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, with that in mind, I'll write down some stinky fallbacks and we will move into it. All right, Tom, I've made you nervous. Now it's time to use them nerves to my advantage. What are you doing? Um, don't really know. Oh, he doesn't know. Right, it's already 2-0, Andy. I'm going to go... I'm going to use my illegal position change. Somebody stop this man. We go right back. Marcus Lorente. He's just too good. I got him untradeable. He goes in every team I've ever built. He's ridiculous. In he goes. He is ridiculous. And then at left back, I'm going to use his teammate. Uh, all the way from Mozambique. Going to be none other than Ronaldo, Ronaldo from Wish. Pez. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ronaldo from <laughs> Pez. Ronaldo from Wish. It's Reynildo. Okay. There's no way. Okay. There's no way that you've put either of these players down. And what's going to tilt you even more? Reynildo, he's alone. <laughs> it's 100 <laughs> coins, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you are nothing. You are a fool. <laughs> and you are wasting my time. Oh, dear. <laughs> I wrote Americans again. Oh, did you? Yeah. I wasn't going to write... So, initially, I wrote Gaia and Alex Balde. So, I'm glad I changed, because I would have got it wrong anyway. <laughs> Whereas, I at least covered the American base. My logic is you still need an NWSL player, Tom. I thought I could just... Can I just put a manager in at the end? No. Okay. Fair enough. So, my logic was make... Make it so you have to... Like, guess the fullback one, so you can't just get away with getting one at fullback, because then you have to put one at centre-back. And they're just not very good. I'll have to put my goal then. And they're just not very good. There's loads of good American goalies. Is there? Yeah. I, I can't get on board. I haven't tried on yet, so I am hating on something that I haven't given a go. But I can't get on board with a goalie who's five foot nine. But you know what's better than, well, what's worse than having a six, five foot eight goalie? A bronze. So. True. We'll talk. We'll talk about it when we get there, mate. I'm definitely putting. I'm definitely putting American goal. So just guess a goalie from America, and you might get it. I don't like these mind games, Tom. I'm meant to be making you nervous. Right. La Liga. Left back. Mendy. Very sweaty. I love it. Too sweaty, some might say. Right back. You're going to copy me, aren't you? I can feel it. Could copy it and go for the special position change. I'm thinking. Let's big brain this. You are smart enough to know I'm not going to pick Cancelo because it's both sides. So you won't write it down because you'd be wasting a guess. So I'm going to go Cancelo and get myself an informed right back. That's pretty good, yeah. 
You can have a bronze left back to go with him. He's not sweaty anymore, mate. He's bronze. Probably should use up the trump card here. Should have put Cancelo at left back, shouldn't I? Yeah, and since you haven't had a chance to use any of the American women, Andy, the goalkeepers, we'll give you a chance. You can use... You can use Bixby. She might be all right out on field, you never know. She's six foot. Thanks, Tom. Let's move on to the final picks. The final positions then, Thomas. Mm. I thought I was a smarty pants picking Cancelo, but he actually needs a club or nation link to get full chemistry. How many Portuguese players about is there? That is worrying. There is a 57 paced Bundesliga centre back. <laughs> Aha, yeah, check in then. <laughs> yeah. Bad times. What I'm going to do is obviously pick a Barcelona one. Luckily for me, there's quite a lot of options. Barcelona goalies, you only really want to be using Ter Stegen. But Barcelona centre backs, Kunde, Araujo, Christensen, Inigo Martinez, long layer to push. I'm going to go Inigo Martinez. And that is full chem for my La Liga boys and full chem for my Bundesliga boys. So what I'm going to do is be a slivery little snake and I'm going to hop back over to the Bundesliga and I'm going to pick a slivery little position change, Emre Chan. That's cheating. You can't do that. Why can't I do that? You've already had your, your changer. Who? Your Joe Cancelo. He went from left back to right back, didn't he? Jack and still has a right back, Tom. What? Since when? Since his inform. Wow, that's unbelievable. Okay, yeah, no, go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and I'll have Koval in goal. Oh, no. Oh, I almost got you as well. I did write down both of the best Barcelona centre backs because I knew you needed one. Didn't think you used Tostegan because that's just bait, isn't it? That's bait, mate. So I didn't write Tostegan down. I wrote down Trap. Ooh, I was so close to going Trap and Sildilia, whatever he's called, <sighs> the right back who can play centre back. That was a close one. Uh, damn. You say, uh, as if you haven't got, give me Bixby at left back, Tom. Uh, I've only given you one goalie. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right, okay, well. Pain in my ass. Um, all my players are on full chem, bar the Americans. Just need one more American. And with this icon, I can do something a little bit saucy with the centre backs. So I'm going to use perfect link because you've already referenced that today and I am the man with the perfect links. It's just a case of which one am I going to use? Do I use Hernandez and Kimpembe or do I take a slice out of your book? I'm going to use take a slice out of your book. I'm going to take Hummels, Hummels and I'm and going to take Zula. Yeah. Wonderful times. Get him in. Play the clip. And then need the American woman. You actually are doing it in goal. You're a psycho. Yeah, I know. I hope you've written one down because I've got a game for you. I ain't playing. I ain't playing no games. You're not the Joker, Tom. I'm going to play a game a with you. You've got to play the game. You've got to play the game. Okay, effectively, we're going to play Pick Your Poison. Take in all of the 83 plus. No, you know what? That Just seems... say a name, Tom. No, You ain't the no. Joker. I'm going to say, I'm gonna... yeah, that means you haven't got one. You haven't got them written down. I've got Bixby in the lineup. There's three of them, Andy. Which one do you want? One, two, or three? No, I'm not picking. You pick. Okay, let me check. Okay, well, let's leave it up to chance then. I don't want any bias in this. Siri, pick a number between one and three. He's saying three. So I'm gonna go with Campbell. Oh, put Bixby! <laughs> if you wanted it, you could have picked her. If I'd have said two, would it have been Bixby? Yeah, it would have been Bixby. Well done, Siri. You smashed it, mate. Using AI for Squabble the Showdown, you little cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you use two position changes, I don't care. Send the police. I've got Bixby at left back, Todd. <laughs> Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Let's get into a game. I don't want to discard another million coins. Here we go. The amount of pressure I feel going into Squabble the Showdown games recently, Tom, is outrageous. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, I am the best FIFA player ever. That is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, uh. See, that would have been even on the lock if that had got it. <laughs> <laughs> you're asking for too much, sir. Oh, Ronaldo. Okay, you're quite strong. Oh, dear. He oh, just yes. wouldn't shoot. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, the, the slow leg pullback has absolutely killed me then. Shut up, ref. I didn't... Oh, my God, it's a record! 
That's what you get. He had to go to prison. He's out of position. You've cheated. I didn't touch you. I didn't touch you. Oh my God, I've slid in front of her to try and block a pass. Oh God, that should be a penalty, sure. That was a penalty. Right, so you've got a, got me a red card and just fouled me when I'm trying to score. And the ref doesn't... How much have you paid her? Oh no! Oh, oh my, my God. God, he's missed! I told him to shoot four hours ago and he's just stood there watching it. Just run towards the ball, bro. Oh, look, there's loads of space there. Oh, she's styling on you. Styling, what a wonderful goal. That's a, that's where's the red card then? Because <laughs> you actually just fouled me then on purpose. <laughs> oh, I did get a yellow card with Bellingham. That's annoying. Oh, I feel sorry for you, mate. That's a red. That's an actual deliberate foul, ref. If you don't whip a red card, I'm trying now. to get the try to get the ball. That's yes! a red. Yes, justice. This referee is actually out of control. That was actually a red card, though. That is filth. <laughs> that is filth. That is actually a red card. I'm coming from the side. I'm coming from the side. She's on commission. It's what this ref is on. <laughs> she is on commission. Well, when they uh, when you have to pay the twenty pound fine or whatever for getting a red card, she takes like yeah, ten percent. Yeah, she's getting it. All of it. No. Right. Come on. Oh my God! Please, for the love of God, what is going on? You just walked through me. Okay, now we're even. Technical dribble plus, baby. We'll call it even now. That's a red card. That is a red card. Honest attempt at the ball. That's a red ref. card. That is exactly the same. Nah, that's a little accidental trip after an honest attempt at the ball. Not a <sighs> two-footed lunge through the back of my legs. Career ending criminality. Oh, oh, no, oh. Red cards. Red cards. <laughs> no way. Red cards. That's, that's Get the cards out, ref. <laughs> got Alex Morgan. I got Parejo to Alex Morgan. Unbelievable scenes. That's yes. a great finish. That's my goal. That's my goal. Go oh, on. You've got, you're an animal, Tom, with that celebration as well. I don't know what's going to happen here. You're what's wrong with this game, Tom. Am I? Yeah. I only play it every other day. Not like... You're going to... Oh my God, what is Campbell doing? Sit down, love. No, this is so bad. No, get in the gap. This is Ego Martinez actually doing, oh no. Referee, get the red cards out, thank you. <laughs> Just slightly this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I think that my average red cards per game is about one and a half. One more and the game gets ended. 3-0 win to me. No, it doesn't. Get one and see. Come, on, come here then. If you just move that, you're <laughs> yes. an You make me sick, Tom. I don't want to concede, mate. There's a lot of coins on the line right now. Yeah, that's going to be a goal, I think. Oh, that's beautiful. Fair play. This is mental. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Oh, oh my god, god it's a throw. Oh my god, where's Red my card? What are you doing, you psycho? <laughs> Red card! Yes! Come on! You are drawing with nine men. Oh my god, we've got to discard each. Oh. <laughs> I still feel a bit aggrieved. Why? I got sent off for nothing. Yours were filth. I don't know about that, mate. My Cancelo red card was so sad. <laughs> I didn't even have Bellingham. I spent 800k on a card that I didn't get to use. Oh, now we might both discard him. Would you like to pick a position? You've got one. Yeah, Cam. Coble. Beautiful. Brilliant. Very nice. Have you mixed yours? Yeah, 4 3 3 fifth. Right centre back. No! Is it Bellingham? He's actually hit him. Yes! It's finally not me! It's finally not me! Oh my Bye god. Hi, dude. Don't make it sad. <laughs> it's finally not me! Oh man, that is painful. Genuinely painful. 957k. Appreciate the price check, Tom, so I can list mine up. Thanks, mate. The million coin discards in Squabble the Sharon this year continue. But it wasn't me! Goodbye.